I'm Colonel Matt Hofer, Commander of the United States Army Air Medical Research Laboratory here at Fort Novacell, the home of Army Aviation. We are the DOD's Center for Rotary Wing Air Medical Solutions, forging the future of research, development, testing, and evaluation of medical equipment. But our scope also covers performance and protection research for airborne warriors and ground soldiers, as well as aircrew. We're divided into three research groups, each of which has a particular focus. Our in-route care group looks specifically at medical care delivered in medevac aircraft. This includes all aspects of patient care, from clinical protocols, medical standards, air crew protection, and the medical equipment we use. All medevac equipment is tested by this group to ensure that it performs properly on patients in flight and doesn't adversely affect the aircraft or air crew. We also have a research group that is focused on ways to increase the performance of soldiers. This warfighter performance group looks at ways to give air crew an edge in all environments, including improving the ability to fly farther, faster, and longer as we transition to future vertical lift. The third group is our Injury Biomechanics and Protection Group. They are focused on air crew survivability, blunt blast and accelerative injury, sensory protection, and air crew equipment, all with the goal of finding ways to increase the protection of our aviators. USERL leads air medical innovation every day, shaping the future in aviator performance, protection, and medical evacuation. I'm John Crowley, and I'm the Science Program Director. Being a small research lab, we depend a lot on our partners uh, within the Department of Defense, within the Army, internationally. Uh, we get together with the other laboratories like us uh, that do aerospace medicine research in the Air Force and the Navy and the FAA and NASA. We synchronize our programs and make sure that we're collaborating where we can and doing research as efficiently as possible. One of the best qualities about USERL is all the different types of scientists and clinicians that are under one roof, all working toward the same goal, to improve performance of Army aviators and protect occupants of Army aircraft. I'm Paul St. Ange, I'm a researcher here at USERL. I work in the Warfighter Performance Group and I'm the team lead for the Applied Solutions Group. The U.S. Army Air Medical Research Laboratory it tests everything that goes on a pilot or on the crew in the aircraft. So the helmets, the boots, the gear, the seat belts, the safety equipment. And then we also do a lot of work on the human systems integration or the way that the human and the machine interact in flight. This research is absolutely essential to the Army aviation mission because the aircraft have to be flyable. And the complexity of flying a system of systems that the helicopters are require a lot of care and attention and training. We need to make sure that the training that's done is the most effective possible for the Army. This helps the Army's mission ensure that we have capable pilots who can go out and run the necessary mission sets and come back safely with the crew and aircraft intact. And it's our responsibility as researchers here at this laboratory to make sure that aviation is safe as possible so every one of those kids comes home safely. I'm Staff Sergeant Jordan and I'm a 68 Yankee. It is such a privilege to work with these soldiers because I don't know if you saw knew what they were doing, but they have some of the smartest and brightest soldiers here that are also enthusiastic about research and, you know, with the different MOSs, I think that they strategically pick which skill sets they want to hear because they know maybe that type of person, how they work, and their skill, set, skill sets are also needed. For here, optometry, it's great. You see, you look around us, we're doing a lot with the eyes, so it's actually helping me build upon my skill as an optometry technician, the lab technicians, when it comes to the anatomy and physiology of the body, they get to see the in-depth of why it's like this or how your body reacts underneath certain stresses, pressures, aviation going up and down, all those things. And, it, and that just aids into the research as well so that we can give our perspective, we can help them recruit some, you know, um, test subjects so that way we can send them up in the air and see, see what goes on here. So I think it's amazing. It's amazing being a part of USERL. 
Uh, my name is Tyler Rooks. I'm a research mechanical engineer, general engineer here at the lab. Uh, I have primary role is uh, head injury research, head injury biomechanics. So the Focus ATD, which is an anthropometric test device, or you may know as a crash test dummy, was developed at USERL and is currently being used in many different industries as it's becoming more and more widely available, as well as injury risk criteria are being perfected for different industries. There's an aspect of service to it, which is really nice in being able to make sure that soldiers are safe and able to come home. Uh, and then also, like I said, you know, at the end of their career, they're able to live, a, live their life as healthy as possible. So um, a lot of pride and a lot of privilege in being able to work here and help uh, make that a reality and continue to improve. I mean, things have advanced significantly over the past 15, 20, 30 years and continuing to make some advancements is a real privilege. If there's been a fatality or serious injury, my job is to go out and figure out that lesson that needs to be learned so that we can apply it for the next generation. And uh, you know, that, that is one of the most rewarding things that, that we can do. My name is Rachel Kinsler. I'm a biomedical engineer with the InRoute Care Group, and I'm also a principal investigator. So what we like to do, we like to say that we study anything that has to do with transport patients. So that could be the effects of that transport on the patients, that could be any of the devices that are used to give care to those patients, like medical monitoring or intervention devices. Um, we also like to say to make the uh, job of the paramedic easier. So that has to do with can we take some of the workload off of them? Can we, um, can we study some of the things that make their job hard and come up with maybe material solutions that make it a little easier? The most rewarding part is that we get to see immediately sometimes the results of our research. It can be implemented and potentially that could save lives. And that's what keeps me coming to work every day is the idea that our research will save lives. I'm Sergeant First Class Adams. I'm a 68 Whiskey Fox 2 critical care flight paramedic. Uh, the research here uh, is one of the things I really like about working here. It's far reaching. It reaches into every bit of medicine in the Army. The equipment that is tested here determines essentially what the Army is going to buy to use in all the facilities across the Army. My favorite part of working at USERO is that I'm a one of one. I am treated as the subject matter expert and people actually have a genuine interest in what I have to say about the devices that we're testing. USERO really does fit into uh, the life-saving mission because we are testing the next generation of equipment, the things that the Army is going to be using. Whenever they replace the current equipment, it'll be with equipment that came through USERO, was tested thoroughly, and was vetted uh, thoroughly to make sure that not only is it functional and going to work in the aircraft and the environment, but that it's user-friendly for the, the medic in the field. Uh, I don't think you'll find very many other jobs in the Army where you're actually going to affect what you yourself are going to see at your next assignment or the one beyond that.